Hi. How are you? Is the key at home? No, not yet. Not yet? Not yet. Oh, all right. She's coming. So. She's coming, OK. Hi, ma'am. How? I'm great. How are you? Good. I brought some beer for you guys. Thank you. So what have you made today? I made some garlic knots and um, what I like to call rasta pasta. Is it something from, from the south? Um, no, it's more Jamaican. I saw the flag hanging outside. Yes. What kind of flag is that? That's the Pan-African Liberation flag. Uh, why do you hang it outside? I hang it outside to let everybody know in the neighborhood that um, I'm a black nationalist. I believe in liberation um, and one day freedom, true freedom for black people, um, not just here in America, but across the world. Is it safe for you to hang the flag outside? My neighbors are really racist and Really? On, on every side oh of me. God. We just saw a new confeder Confederate flag in the neighborhood um, the day we came home from court. Is that why you guys hang up the, the cameras outside and security stuff? Well, my daughter has gotten some death threats, um, so that's part of the reason why we hung them out. Really? Yes, yes. So this is for uh, what happened uh, in, 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 in uh, Durham. Durham. Yeah. Really? Yes. Wow. Dit is wel echt heel gek, dit. Na de bedreigingen gewoon overal camera's en een hond. Wow. Do you, still, do, you, do you feel safe at home? Because um, if these people are racist, they know what, what well, she did. Well, they've been racist before we showed up. So there's going to continue to be racist, um, whether we are here uh, with the flag up or not. Have you ever tried talking to them, like, you know, We've tried it, but we put a stop to it because um, there's only so much we could do. We can't change our skin color. We can't make somebody want to be neighborly if they don't want to. And we certainly wanted to. That's why we moved here. Het is overduidelijk wat de Kia strijdvaardigheid vandaan heeft. En hoewel haar moeder haar steunt, moet ze toch echt wel bezorgd zijn om de veiligheid van haar dochter. So there are a lot of things happening with the key at the moment. Do you worry as a mother something might happen to her? If something happens to her, at least a movement has started and is going to continue whether she's here or not. Speaking of the devil. Uh, hi, Takia. Hi, how are you? I'm good. How are you? So I see all the protection you got. Mm. It's got to be crazy you living like this. It, it is, yeah. I think you ask any um, black person who has moved into like a predominantly white neighborhood, the challenges that go with that. I remember when we first moved here and um, like moving in, um, our neighbors called the police for like suspicious activity. Um, yeah, when, you no, guys, when you guys moved in this house? Yeah, yeah, it's so suspicious. Like black people were coming inside with boxes. Um, mm -hmm. I just spoke to your mom and I told her, don't you worry that something might happen to, to you. You're not worried about uh, somebody hurting you or shooting you or whatever? I mean, that's a, that's a legitimate concern, but I, I can't let it consume um, my life um, to the point where I'm afraid to continue living. I think it always goes back to what I say about like being black or being gay in America, or even being a woman, is that um, anything could happen to me um, at any time. But I think now, um, at the very least, it would be for a reason. Oh, oh, oh. Zena, no. Zena, come. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what slang words do you have in Dutch? That's a good one. Something like, je weet toch. Je weet toch? No, almost. <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta really have that. Almost. Nice je weet toch. Je weet toch. Hey guys, not too loud because otherwise they're gonna call the cops. Yeah, they will. Ms. Thompson, Garner Police, there's a search warrant. Need you to come to the door. Okay, so this is a copy of the search warrant. Okay, that I filed. Okay, um, attached to it is my copy of the application, so you can read over that. Um, it's for you if you can keep that. Okay, it's for your records. This is a copy. Of the town ordinance for loud and disturbing and unnecessary noises. 
P L P Lee is yes, talking to me now. And about not, it's still my, here. And my name, my name is on that paperwork as well. Okay. So I made it clear already. Also. So as you see, um, I highlighted the section uh, that we're kind of dealing with here today mm -hmm. because it's not after the 11 p.m. Right. We need to serve more of these. Um, this is where this is North Carolina General Statute 14-4. It's when a violation of a local ordinance. Ready? So when this is general North Carolina General Statute 14-4, when a violation of a local ordinance is a misdemeanor. Okay. So you understand you could be potentially arrested for this, right? Because it's a violation of a local ordinance. That's for you as well. Okay. Section A. This is a copy of the North Carolina Uniform Citation. Just saying you need to appear in court and reference this. Okay? Your court date is going to be on Tuesday. It's going to be June 11th, 2019. You can come anytime, 7.45 to 3.30 p.m. Okay? Raleigh, North Carolina, courtroom 101. Okay? Um, make sure you show up. It's a mandatory court appearance. So don't miss it because they can issue you a, um, a failure to appear if you miss court. Okay? Do you have any questions about that? Should I? I don't know. I mean, if you have a question, I'd be happy to answer it. But I don't know. I can't read your mind. Do you have any questions about search warrant? Do you have any questions about anything else? Is there anything else? Um, so all I have to do is I have to complete one more form um, with the information for the speaker. And I'll provide you with a copy as well. It's an inventory mm -hmm. okay. of the item seized. Mm -hmm. um, so I'll, we'll complete that, give you a copy of that. Um, and unless you have more questions for us, then we'll mm -hmm. get out of you guys. Just way. make sure you get everybody that's here. Mm -hmm. And all the cars that's here. Okay, please do that. Okay. So I'm gonna set it down. So I'm Cleaning the wild okay. black in America. This is how it turns out. One, two, three cars. One, two, three people here for a speaker because white people don't call on me about playing. Oh, yes. Yeah, well. okay. <laughs> Let's talk about something serious now. Okay. How, how, how do you see the, the future? Will Trump be able to change things in a positive way? Trump has already changed things in a positive way. Yeah. People are now talking about what he is, a white supremacist. So he's made a positive change. People are talking now about white supremacy and about how it's not good. And people are talking more and more about racism, systemic racism, uh, and how to bring about a real change. I hear a lot of people saying, like, okay, tearing down a statue is one thing, mm -hmm. but where will your struggle end? I mean, what's next? I mean, are you going to burn the houses down of people who, are, who hang a Confederate flag outside? I, I really can't say what the struggle is going to look like 10 years from now or even tomorrow. Um, my set agenda is political and economic freedom. You sacrificed a lot uh, in the previous uh, weeks, month, maybe. Uh, how far will you go in sacrificing? Are you willing to sacrifice yourself for those things that you believe in? Um, I don't know, I can't really say. Um, am, I, am I willing to sacrifice myself? I think that just, it just goes back to, to you know, this, this idea that I'm always harping on, that it's better to die on your feet than to live on your knees. Um, and I, I don't feel like I'm, I'm too much better or worse off um, because life in America for um, people like me is just, um, it is a life or death situation a lot of times. It's better to have a purpose in life than none at all.